the EU is reaching breaking point with UK hardline pressure on the brink of securing a fishing cave in. Post-Brexit trade talks between the UK and EU are continuing in Brussels with negotiators hoping to agree a deal this week. But the sticky wicket of fisheries has seen the EU side fight tooth and nail to avoid a deal which respects UK sovereignty, according to UK sources. UK officials claim the UK's increasingly position has left the EU shaking with fear over Boris Johnson's stance. Whitehall sources close to negotiations told Express.co.uk a trade deal was close, but talks remained critical. They added, it's at a time now when Brussels must bow down to our demands. We want a deal which will respect UK sovereignty and this pressure seems to be showing. Another said, we have adopted a hardline position, especially on fisheries. There are some signs this approach has left the EU side shaking with fear, our demands are firmly on the table. It comes after the Royal Navy was put on standby to deploy four patrol boats if Brexit trade talks collapse without an agreement on fishing rights. The position was backed by Defence Secretary Ben Wallace, who said during a visit to Tallinn, Estonia's capital, we will be there to make sure we protect our fishermen because they have the right and deserve to be protected, going about their lawful business. The Secretary of State for Defence said, whatever happens in negotiations, we must respect each other's sovereign waters and indeed follow the rule of law and behave peacefully. When it comes to a Brexit deal, whatever that is, it is no secret that we would use our military to help support in logistics or anything else as required by other departments. The former member of the Scots Guard stressed the UK would always have assets along the shoreline of the United Kingdom to protect it. Progress was made yesterday on the level playing field with both sides close to an agreement in principle. The EU's chief negotiator Michel Barnier was understood to have told diplomats the UK had moved towards the bloc's demands on the level playing field. Mr Barnier told ambassadors the UK accepted a rebalancing mechanism, meaning it could face tariffs if it moves too far away from EU rules. Mr Barnier said the next few days are important if a deal is to be in place for January 1st. Speaking after a briefing with EU ambassadors, he said, it is our responsibility to give the talks every chance of success.